as soon yeah. as I got, like, I'll, I think I did it today. Uh, it was against a Miguel player. So I literally ran up and did down back one one time, and he literally immediately did a back dash and looked for the low, like, right after. I, and I, mm -hmm. I, just, I just stood there and watched him. And just, I was like, okay. Yeah. They're, they're immediately thinking about their legs because Jack's down back one and uh, down back one and crouch dash down back one it interrupts movement it interrupts patterns right, right? And, and people get fixated on that and all you gotta do is figure out when they want to get fidgety right mm -hmm. so once they want to get fidgety with this move that's really when your your option selects come in, right? Because if I dash in your face, you're gonna want to duck. Right. Especially after I already have to. Like, yeah. Like, okay. Boom. Down for if that it, and then it's also a knowledge check. If they block it, right? If they fidget duck and they block that, and they don't punish it properly, right? Okay. Now I know you don't you you don't know the punish. Right. Right. Okay. So, next time I do that, I'm gonna use back two. And if you throw buttons, well, it's also a knowledge check. I'm plus five. Guess what? That jab you just threw out on response now gets down four two. Right. Or double back dash into clap. Or back dash into clap. I have set option for options. Right. A backup plan to a backup plan, basically. Right. And it's because it's all on their reaction. It's all on your reaction. Like, that's, that's all I'm doing. You know, I set my range, and then... I mean, I'm constantly. I'm, I, I'm never... I never stop. And that's what, like... When we play in long sets, like, if we play Jack in long sets, that's what's going to break you is the pace that I'm going to put on you. You're not going to be able to keep up. And I have that mindset. Like, the pace that I put on you is going to break you. You know, and most people can't keep up. So, another thing that you can do, you like to use this to check a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cute. But it gives you too many, it gives you too much of wanting to do this. Yeah. Or wanting to do that. It's giving them opportunities to duck. Okay, and it's too slow to be using down back one. It just is. Yeah. And it's too slow to be doing this. Okay. The only reason I would do this, I'd back up, is to see if they really are about trying to sidestep me. It's just really do that back up. I know my turn's over. Right. But if they don't do anything and they stay at that range, jab, down forward four. The reason I want them to think about that mid, that mid right there is going to fuck their head up. They're like, oh, something out of the norm. And I see it pushes you back too. Yeah. It pushes you back, it has good tip range, right? Gets you out of jab range. And it puts you in the range for that. Or crushing, if they decide to double pump it, boom. Puts you in range for that. You know? And you probably can get Das Boot if they whiff. I mean, if you're really greedy. Right. Time up. But, you know, or... Round three. Oh, I like that. You know? Yeah. I mean, it sets up so many options. You know, because I don't have to, you don't really notice that I'm taking your space. The reason you don't really notice I'm taking your space is because I keep resetting my range. I took the space, but I reset my range. I didn't reset yours. I reset mine. Mm -hmm. Right? So you feel like, oh, I mean, he's always constantly at this distance, but why, am I, why is my back on the wall? Well, the reason your back is on the wall is because I initially took the space. And then I just reset the range to the space that I took. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. 
So when I tell you that you can do, you can be, you can take people's move, you can take people's space within three moves and put them on the wall. No problem. It's not. It's it really. I've done it with Miguel's down forward one. Literally down forward one dash down forward one. Let them back dash. Dash down forward one. Next thing you know, you're on the wall. Right. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But all of it rotates off of each other. Get ready for the next you know, like your wall game's pretty good. You know, you you have that step back for a second and let them hang themselves. Right. Mm -hmm. But. When you're playing neutral or you're playing your offense, the reason I play my offense this way, and I'm not selling you my offense. Like, I'm not selling you my way of playing. Do what you like. Yeah. I'm just showing you how I build my tree. Round one. And it's based off of the moves I use. Right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, what moves does he have to knowledge check? Knowledge check. Knowledge check. Knowledge check. You know, yeah. like w knowledge. You can knowledge check them. You you have moves to knowledge check. So let's let's talk about this. Boom. Knowledge check. Can you hit buttons here? Yeah. How many people don't? Not too many. Right? So most time most time when I do this, it's the pause you. Like when I do this to you, like if I jab and then I just do that to you, it's because you're check ducking a lot. I don't necessarily have to use jackhammer in that situation. I can use this because it has a little bit more delay. And it gives them more time to duck. Oh, it's like really just be like, kind of make that quick decision. Like, oh, okay. Right, because I want I want you to, I want you to take more time to f commit to the duck. And if I can do that, and I can make you commit to ducks like that. I mean, it down four two becomes free. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And look at the range. That you're at with this. I mean, if they, if if you get this, I mean, look at the range. It's great because then you can go right back to your offense with a normal character. You know, boom, 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 and this can be a mix-up in itself, like this right here. And the and you can either let it rip or do it this way. Or you can just do it the down back one or not do it mm -hmm. at all to see if they're dodging. Yep. It's just I mean it's all in the movement though. Like think about it. I'm doing this, right? We've taken up a full three. Right, off those two moves. Okay. About a half. And depending on what happens in the situation, right? Depending on what happens in these situations, you can put them in you can put them on the wall in three moves. Right? Because if you pause them, right, if you go boom, boom, and they pause Right? Final round. Okay. Fight. So now they've paused. Right? Boom. Boom. You've paused. Right. Alright. So what is your option here? You have multiple. You can back up, reset your range. Right? Because you've taken so much space already. Your other option is did they just backdash into the wall? 
if they don't backdash into the wall and you see them trying to get away from the wall,